Hello there, my little virtual artist. Welcome to your final weeks here of art. Um, we are going to be looking at the work uh, of Frida Kahlo. She was an amazing um, artist who told stories through her paintings about her life experience. Um, and uh, she worked in Mexico. She was born in Mexico, um, lived in the United States and in Europe. Um, we're gonna look specifically at this painting here called, can you get, is that good? Can mm -hmm. you see it? Um, so this is um, Frida Kahlo self-portrait with Bonito. So that is her, one of her pets, um, her, one of her uh, parrots. And um, you can see she, it's this porch self-portrait style from her shoulders up. She's looking directly out at the viewer. And then she's got this background with uh, all this vegetation behind her. So we are going to make a self-portrait with a parrot. And I'm here to demonstrate the draw along. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Okay, so you're gonna need a piece of paper or something to draw on, um, a pencil, and then a marker or a Sharpie, uh, colored pencils, anything to add a lot of color. So we're gonna start with the shape of our uh, face. Um, you wanna kinda start around a little above halfway. And we're just gonna draw a U. And don't worry, we're gonna have a top of our head too. So you're gonna come down a little bit and you're gonna draw eye shapes. So good eye shapes, and you don't have to do shapes exactly like mine. Can you see pretty good? Yeah. Through? Okay. So I'm just gonna do roughly some ovals. And then we're gonna find the center of our face here, okay? Probably should have done that to begin with. And I'm gonna draw, there are lots of ways of doing noses. I'm just gonna keep it really simple for you guys right now. And if you wanna do different shapes, you certainly can. All right, the mouth, you can start with just a line, all right? But I'm gonna add kind of a hot dog shape here and that's gonna be the bottom lip. And another hot dog shape. That's gonna be the top lip. If you want, you can add sort of that little mountain right there. But your the corners of your mouth kind of line up with the center of your eyes, okay? <laughs> um, then we're gonna do some circles inside of our eyes here. Oh, something's ready. And I'm gonna do a little bit of an eyelid for you, just to show you how that's done. And don't worry, we're gonna come back and we can erase right here, right? Kind of. Um, we need eyebrows, right? I mean. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Little hot dog shapes. And a half arches, right? All right, now the top of our head. We have to have hair, so we're not just gonna like cut it off, right? So everybody has different hair. When you think about hair, think of it as a whole shape, not of just different strands. So maybe your hair is really long, maybe your hair is short, maybe you have a ponytail. Um, ears are important to hear you with. All right, now I have my neck. It's gonna come down, because we need a neck and shoulders. We do? Yeah, so just like that. I'm gonna kinda change the... All right, 
Now we get to do our fun parrot. So parrot's gonna be sitting over here and we're gonna draw another oval or an egg shape. I guess you could call it that. I can erase all those lines inside just to help you guys see a little bit. And then the parrot's head is a, kind of a circle or another oval, but it's gonna be smaller, right? Kind of a lot smaller. So we're gonna do our beak like that. You can always just have a little triangle. And then the long tail here is like a big rectangle or another big hot dog shape. There's lots of hot dog shapes. I'm convinced you can draw anything with just a hot dog shape. You can. I know. So there you go. And then we're going to have our little claws here kind of holding on some feet. I want my bird, you know, you can kind of, since this is an imaginary bird, I guess you can have any kind of cool tuft or its own hair situation. I like how on Bonito, Frida really exaggerated kind of his stomach feathers. We can do more of that too when we add color. Again, sort of these hot dog shapes for all the feathers. He kind of looks mad, doesn't he? Hmm. Should we make him? He looks like he's about to eat the sandwich I have in my hand. And then you're gonna just draw your shirt or collar, your dress, whatever it is you're wearing here. Um, in the background, you can draw anything in the background. But I'm going to kind of copy the type of leaves she had in hers. But you don't have to. You can draw trees. You can draw more birds. Draw a spaceship. Maybe you're on the outer space or you're in the, on the moon. All right. I'm going to come in. I'm gonna start outlining. Let's see. I'm gonna start with my head shape. I'm gonna narrow it out a little bit. Kind of give myself a little more of a chin there than I did. My nose, my eyes. Something smells like pineapple. Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, something, somebody's cooking something on them. No, it's the... It's the oh, coffee. this. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And then my hair comes down. Now I'm going to be careful not to draw my hair through my little parrot there. here his side feather and then I'm gonna separate it like this is his tail feather in the back kind of a last last minute change up in the lineup here all right so feet and you guys obviously are gonna have your own version of your bird and then outline here and when I'm all finished I'm gonna add color to it lots of color so I'll have that my example fully colored for you this example fully colored for you 
to check out. And I'll have Frida's example as well. Give myself some eyelashes. And I think that is pretty good. Just a little demo. So right on. So paper, pencils, markers, whatever you have around, your self-portrait and just take it slow. Um, I know that there was a lot there, especially for the younger guys, but um, I think you guys can do it. Have at it. And um, I can't wait to see what you come up with.